So, <laughs> I've been playing Brawlhalla quite a bit over the last few months. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, it's a really fun game on Steam. Well worth the time. It's free to play, too, so, you know, not exactly a huge capital investment unless you want to buy the skins in the store, which look pretty cool, I got to admit. But, aside from that, it's, uh, it's a really competitive multiplayer game, and I'm okay with competitive multiplayer. I really prefer when it's a team-based game, like where everybody is working together to achieve a common goal. Those are the ones that I do better in. Games like uh, Killing Floor, let's say. That's the first one that comes to mind. Oh, Left 4 Dead. There's another one where, for the most part, unless you're playing Versus or some sort of custom game, everyone's working together to get to the end, to reach the goal and work together to achieve it. I like that, especially when I'm playing a support class, because that just seems to be where I really excel. I'm good at that, and, and I like... Not that I don't like being in the thick of the action, but I find it's better when I'm coordinating and assisting. And just by proxy of being in that role, I end up contributing so much more than if I was just being like a bruiser or a tank or whatever descriptor you want to put in that blank space. But anyway, I've been playing Brawlhalla quite a bit. And it gave me the idea for this episode because... You know, it's when you first start playing any game that you've never played before, sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll just have an affinity for it. All the controls make sense. Uh, you just you click right away and you're good at it. And sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Sometimes you're going to play the game like 50 times and you are going to suck every single time. But eventually you start to get a hold of it. You start to find a groove or a character or a style that you prefer, and you tailor your gameplay to that, and it starts to work for you. And, huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking again about Brawlhalla, where there are a lot of different characters. They have similar moves, but each one handles a little bit differently. And... The ones that I find I really enjoy are fast characters. In most fighting games, that's what I enjoy. I like speed. And... Those kinds of characters are usually pretty soft. If they take too many hits, they're gone pretty quick. So you have to be fast and accurate. All this to say that when I first started playing Brawlhalla, I sucked. I was terrible at it. Even when I played with friends, they could beat me pretty easily. But over time, I started to get better. And then, because I don't like to get my ass kicked by myself, I'll play with Andrew. And we'll go into a match, and sometimes it'll just be a absolute ground pound it'll be a slaughter we will wreck the other team and not in a fun way like not that we're trying to be mean but they can't tell that we're just you know doing this without any venom in it but from where they're standing we just destroy them and we're being dicks about it but it's not that it just happened to click really well maybe we were in a good mood maybe we caught them at a bad time and we just absolutely can them and then the th then the same thing will happen to us. And I think it's good that that happens in games. Because, I mean, mind you, sometimes you can have a bad run and lose like five games in a row and just be mad, fuming, just finding new combinations of swear words that people never even considered before. Maybe I should do a, uh, one of these episodes on Game Rage. That would be interesting, but <laughs> I digress. It's a reminder to me that... No matter how good you get, no matter how well you know a particular character or a style or a class or what have you, there will always be someone else out there that can beat you. There's always going to be someone out there who's a little bit better than you, a little bit faster than you, a little bit luckier than you, because that certainly comes into play. It's... Um, I'm trying to remember that line from from Star Wars Episode One. <laughs> I know, not not the greatest movie for some people. I enjoyed it though. Uh, what was it? Yeah, okay, there. There's always a bigger fish. That's the one. There's always a bigger fish, and it's very true. I mean, even even with people you might know who, let's say, Tekken, Mortal Kombat, any sort of fighting game where they just stomp you. Every single time. And we've all got a friend like that. They're good. They're too good. They're annoyingly good. Like, you want so badly to just wreck them. 
And every time you try, you fail. Because they're just better at it than you are. And, you know, maybe if you kept at it, eventually you'd beat them. But if you're human like most of us, you kind of reach a point where you're like, you know what, this isn't fun. I, I, I don't think I'm going to play this game with you anymore. And then like a month later, you figure, okay, now I'm ready. And you lose again, wash, rinse, repeat. But something to consider the next time you're playing a game with a friend. Let's say you're playing Smash Bros. They're playing Ike. And they annihilate you. Like there's not even a fight. It's just... It's just Ike beating your face in with his big piss-off sword. Keep in mind that there is someone out there who can hand your friend their ass the same way they did to you. There is always a bigger fish. And for all the players out there who are really good, who don't lose that often, and who have never run into this person yet, if they keep playing the game, law of averages, I'd say, eventually... They will. And I think it's good that there is always someone out there. Whether or not they're beating them with skill or they just happen to get lucky, I think it's a very humbling experience so that like, as good as you are, as skilled as you are, as much as you master one kind of game, eventually, if you keep playing it at some point, you are going to lose. And I think that's something to keep in mind Whenever you're in the deepest pits of game rage because you have just lost for the 12th time to the same guy and you're just wondering, why do I even try? Keep that in mind. That, again, no matter how grim it seems, how bad you lost, or how many times he's just canned you, there is always a bigger fish. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, Share your thoughts, share your comments. I'd, I'd like to know... Honestly, I'd like to hear some people's stories about times when they've just been destroyed or times when they've had a really good winning streak. Let's let's have some uplifting ones, too, not just war stories about how badly you lost playing, I don't know, Overwatch or something like that. In any case, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you do, share it, uh, like it if you want to. And until the next time, I'm Rye. Take care of yourselves.